today we're going to learn how to make a drawing app using Scratch. Anyways, so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to rename this right to cursor. So this is going to be our cursor. Let me just uh, draw something like this. Now let me fill it in. Now we basically have the cursor. So I'm going to say, oh wait, I'm going to set the, make the point of the cursor, you know, the tip of the cursor, to be the one that's at the center. So we're going to say, when flat bricked forever, go to mouse pointer. As you can see, it does this. Anyway, so now I'm trying to make the, you know, painting. So I'm going to say if. If mouse down. So we're going to add the pen extension here. So if mouse down, then. Yeah, I won't put the flat because it's going to erase all. So if mouse down, then it's going to um, pen down. Okay, I'm going to use an if else for this. So if mouse down and pen down, else pen up. So now, as you can see, I can draw. Yeah. So yeah, that we kind of we kind of already made a drawing gap now, but uh, we don't really have much features. Education is the color of the stars. So that's exactly what we're gonna add. Let's so we just edit the stage a little. So I'm gonna over here make this gray bar I'm also gonna make another gray bar so let me just remove the outline from both of these this one will be at the back it's gonna be a lighter so make another one this one's gonna be completely white so this is going to be the canvas and we're going to that I should draw in. So I'm going to make it so that you're going to only be able to draw in this completely white place. So, I'm going to say if mouse down and it's touching this black, I mean this white color. So, but as you can see, this could happen. As you can see, well, it's still drawing because well it's still drawing because well it is touching the mouse part is touching it so for this we're gonna use another costume I'm gonna name it detector and so let's just get rid of this and just zoom in uh, let's just make it a a square Okay, now let's make this square smaller. Instead of being 8 pixels, it's going to be 4 pixels. So now let's move it over here. Now I have our texture sprite. As you can see, by here, uh, it's pretty small. Let's use our texture sprites on his. Um, yeah, if we just use it normally, it's going to work better. Even though, if you just do, like, do it fast, then uh, that's not going to work. Let me get the pen block, which has the text. When is our screen refresh? Uh, maybe I should I should rename it to draw. Yeah, should we name it to draw? So if mouse not touching that color, oh yeah, first it's going to switch its costume towards the texture. It's going to do all this stuff. Now it's going to switch back to its original costume. Now, as you can see, it can't go outside the stage as much as it used to be able to. Anyways, time to add the single dialogue you to.
and that'll change the size. So it's size 10. So I'm going to make it so at the beginning, the pen size is going to be. Oh, yes, set pen size to 10. So the original size is going to be 10. And maybe it's a bit big, uh, 5. Good enough. So. The original pencil is going to be 5, and the original pen color is going to be black. So as you can see, it's not perfect because, well, this can happen. But I But, um, uh, yeah, we're going to fix that uh, sometime uh, later, I guess. It will go well. I wonder if I said it was small, it's really close to two. So I have no idea what happened there. But uh, yeah, the original pencil is going to, we're going to, we're going to let it to be one. So I'm just going to, we're going to make the size one stinky. Just going to make it to be a weird button. I'm going to put it over here. And let's see, we're going to add some text. Which will say one. I'm going to add this one to the uh, down here. So I'm going to say when this part quit, it's going to set the pen size to 1. So I'm going to duplicate it as size 5. So this part quit set pen size 5. So I'm going to have to make the axis the absolute same. So 5. So now I'm going to add on for 10. Size 10. Um, I'm gonna have 10, 20 in the same place just to make them thin. Gonna make half the size that normally was. Uh, great. Why do I do that? Because we need space for other things. Make this one a bit. And why? Let's just. So minus one, negative one is negative one thirty nine, negative one thirty nine minus sixty nine. Uh, whatever doesn't matter to me, I guess. Good enough. So uh, let's make it a little bit more thinner. So that was that size fifteen. Uh, good luck. So, in the one that says 10 is going to set the pen size 10. Same thing for 15 one. Now, let's test it out. So, as usual, it's going to be one. The one is 5 one. So, you can see that it doesn't change the 5. The reason why is because it changes the pen size for this object. Off the cursor, so I'm gonna have to use some kind of uh, broadcasting. So I'm gonna broadcast one S, which stands for one size. Here I'm gonna broadcast five S, which stands for five size. I'm gonna broadcast ten S, which stands for ten size. Here I'm gonna do the same thing for 15. S. That goes to the cursor in the. Yeah. When I receive 1S, I'm gonna set the pen size to 1. When I receive 5S, I'm gonna set it to 5. When I receive 10S, I'm gonna set it to 10. And when I receive 15S, so it's going to 15. Okay, now let's try that. So the usual size would be 1. No, it is the 5. Because that's bigger. No longer is the bigness comes to glitching. You see that's 10. No, it's even bigger. And you can see that's the biggest, which is 15. Because if we draw a salary of the canvas, it's not going to work.
So yeah, we're just gonna have a couple joints after. Ooh, we need color. So um Yeah, we're basically need colors. So we're gonna have this right over here. It says palette. This is gonna be a, a very simple color palette. It's not not anything too complicated. Gonna make this red square. Then I'm going to add an orange square. Uh, then I'm gonna add more squares. Okay, yeah, that that, that, seems, that seems like enough. Red, yeah, blue, uh, green, blue. Nah. Uh, wait. Oh, wait. We also need the Wait, Nate, black and white. Oh, wait, we don't need the white. Oh, um, well, whatever. So let's duplicate it. So, in this copy, we're gonna make the colors a little bit, um, uh, darker. Yeah, darker. This yellow, gonna make it dark yellow. Same thing for this green, as well as the blue. But for the black. I'm gonna make it lighter instead because yes. So we're gonna copy this again. Uh, the red that's more darker. Same thing for yellow, and green, and blue. For the black, and make it more lighter. So now, uh, before this one. We're gonna have like a tier above this one. Here the colors would be lighter than they usually are. And uh, let me just move this up. And so here we're going to have uh, a very light type of gray. I have our color palettes. It's more beautiful looking than a bunch of jumbled numbers, but uh, I mean, it's gonna be uh, kind of harder to implement. So just put it up here. So now we have to make our cursor to, you know, get, get, get all these things. So, let's flat click forever. I mean, it's gonna take quite a while. I might just put it into a couple of custom blocks. First row. So I'm gonna say if mouse down if touching color if touching this color that's gonna set a pen color to that. Now, so if I click on the yellow color, it doesn't happen. Click on this red color. Yeah, it changes to that type of red. Um, it's gonna take quite a while to finish. So, if touching, okay, I need the eyedropper. If touching yellow, it's the first yellow. It's gonna set the pen color to that. I just have to do the same for green, blue, and that one other color. If touching uh, light screen, set the power color to light screen. But luckily, light screen can't be found anywhere else on the documents, so. Uh, touching light blue, set the power color to light blue. Oh wait, there might be some kind of problem. If you use a color sensing instead of using normal sensing. Click on the red, gonna add some red, gonna add some yellow, gonna add some green, some blue, and black isn't important yet. If I move my mouse over the yellow, 
I can move myself to the red. I'm gonna turn red. If I uh move myself to green, I'm gonna turn green. Comes up with water, and then that's just not good. So to make it a slightly be different, you know, like uh, change its saturation or something. Perfect. Now let's see if it works properly. Red, yellow. So I'm just touching red, and it does change. Green, blue, black, which isn't important yet. It's such a color. Well, this is pure black, so I don't know why I had to use the R dropper. So I'm just gonna set the pen color to not pure black. I mean, you can't use pure black to change the brightness a little. No, no, no one's gonna notice anyways. Let's make, let's make our color palette a little bit simpler because uh, no one has implemented all these different colors in. Let's do that. Just by getting rid of the darkest one. Simple. I also make it a little bit thinner. And then put it over here. So now it can increase the size to like 80. Um, uh, so yeah, that, that's our first row. So if you want to do the second one, just by second row. So you put the second row singing inside of here. And so now, just do the same thing for the second row. So, if mouse down, if touching color normal red, it's gonna, it's gonna set the pen color to normal red with slightly less saturation. And, uh, to test it out, I guess. Normal red versus light red. I mean, uh, you, you can't really see the difference anyways, but still. this a little bit. This is 81, this is 100, so yeah, that should be good enough. So this is light red, this is normal red. Uh, I'm trying to the size, see if I can see a different stand. Um, but uh, just that uh, I know to do the rest or something. But yeah, that's going to be the end of our today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. So bye.